Canada have recently made three big changes when it comes to international student migration. My name is Ola Dipupo Abioye. I'm one of the content creators here at Expat Herb. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sharing our videos and liking our videos. If this is your first time and you like content like this, you want to help us by clicking on the subs subscribe button and smashing the notification bell so that as soon as we drop important videos that you would enjoy, you'll be the first person that will have access to such information. All right, let's get back into the purpose of this video. So three big changes have been made by the Canadian government and we'll be looking at those changes and how they would impact an average international student moving forward. Many international students will consider Canada for their top choice and we have seen in recent months that the United Kingdom have made changes and now Canada have established their change or their changes regarding international uh, student recruitment. So what is the first change within the international student recruitment for Canada? So the first one is that they have placed a cap for international student permit. This cap simply means that there is a certain number of student permits that will be issued in 2024. Unlike 2023, where it was more or less unlimited based on whoever met the requirement, now in 2024, it's going to be, regardless of the number of people who have met the requirement, there is going to be a cap on student permit issuance. And the cap is placed at 360,000 student permit. So if 1 million people applied for student permit, regardless of that number, of the number of students that have applied, only 360,000 will be issued. Let's compare that with 2023. In 2023, about 500,000 student permit was issued in 2023. But that's that's way too much based on the position of Canada. The thinking of bringing the value at the number of international students coming into Canada in 2024. So the cap is going to be for two years. So 2024 and 2025. If you are an international student who is considering studying in Canada, ensure that you just don't meet the requirement. You can support yourself that's another important thing in terms of proof of fund. You have enough proof of fund so that you stand top in the ladder when it comes to those that will be issued with student permit in 2024. And just so you know, again, the requirement for um, for proof of fund have increased from 10,000 Canadian dollars to um, 20,000 Canadian dollars. So the proof of fund will also be one of the major factors that will be considered not just the eligibility, eligibility for the program as well. So let's look at the second change. So the second change is that there are certain institutions, usually private institutions and some colleges that have curriculum licensing with, an ex, with established public institutions. And usually these, these institutions, they would run inter, uh, international graduate programs and, and you are eligible for post-graduate work visa. So starting from September, these institutions can no longer, uh, would no longer be eligible for uh, post-graduate work visa. So if you got admission in these institutions, you will not be eligible for post-graduate work, work visa. So please be mindful of the institutions you'll be applying into. Mostly it will be those that are private institutions you should consider applying into public institution and check the Canadian government website to see that your university is eligible to for postgraduate work permit before you complete your application. And the third change, according to the Canadian government, is open work permit uh, for spouse, spousal work permit. So initially in 2023-2022, if you were admitted into a university and you have been issued student uh, permit, your spouse is eligible for open work permit. 
So you study for 20 hours, you work for 20 hours and your spouse would work full time, which gives you that, that leverage. But going into 2024, only specific programs like I mentioned for postgraduate work permit, only those in master's program and doctorate program would be eligible to bring in their spouse under the spouse open work permit such that while they are studying and working 20 hours, their spouse can come into Canada and work for full time. Now, the only um, positive that I have seen that could benefit certain international students, those that can enroll for master's program in Canada, is that the Canadian government is considering extending um, the two years postgraduate work permit, which is usually for a master's program, extending it instead of two years they're looking forward to making it three years come 2024 we'll see as things unfold but if canada is your destination is canada is the country that you hope to migrate to in 2024 you need to keep up to date with the information so that your plan would come to fruition because the Canadian government are very keen to ensuring that they bring down the number of international students that are coming into Canada for 2024. And if you do not have this information, if you do not uh, apply to the right institutions, you do not make the correct plans, you may just fall short when it comes to applying for your visa in 2024 i hope you do find some value in this in this video see you on the next one bye bye